Hey guys, what's up? Erin here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup one, hence the bare face. Also, sorry about um, the very few extensions I have left in my hair. Lockdowns mean no hairdressers and I have about three tape extensions left and they're just hanging on for dear life. So yeah, if you see anything weird popping outside of my head like that, <laughs> that's what that is. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to be taking you through my very, very basic lockdown makeup routine. If I ever just want to make myself feel a little bit more presentable, then that's what I'll put on my face. Um, but before we get into it, if you could like, like, comment, subscribe, etc, 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 that would mean the world. I've not done a makeup video before, so we'll just see how this one goes, how you like it and stuff. But yeah, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I've actually done already, oh, look, there it is, <laughs> is um, I fake tanned my face. So I know you can do this with like a fake tan, just an actual like fake tan. Like I have this one, the Bondi Sands one. It literally dries in like an hour. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it so much. Um, so I moisturise my face, kind of pat that on with like a tanning mitt, and then I'll moisturise again. Um, my moisturisers like vary, like I usually use like this Neutrogena one with like for acne prone skin because I had bad acne but um, I also use the Willida skin food, um, not every day, I usually do it when I'm going to fake tan my face <laughs> so maybe like once twice a week I'll mix this in a little bit with my actual moisturiser and it just gives your skin like this really healthy glow and um, it's actually really good for you um, but not if you have oily skin. I do not recommend if you have oily skin because it, it is quite an oily product, it is for dry skin. Um, but yeah, so I've moisturised, I've done like all that jazz. So basically because I have fake tan to my face, I don't really feel the need to put on like foundation. I'll maybe put on a little bit of concealer, it just depends on how I feel. Like if I have like a few like blemishes, like I know I have a spot there. But to be perfectly honest with you, I can't really be bothered to conceal right now <laughs> so i'll kind of just skip those steps um because i've moisturized i've got the fake tan on my face i don't really feel the need to um so the first step i'll usually just go straight in with is the brows because without eyebrows on i don't feel good so yeah i use the nyx micro brow pencil and i have the shade ash brown Sometimes I'll use a Kiko pencil as well. I think I use a combination of 02 and 03. Um, but yeah, so basically what I do is before that, I'll put on this NYX Control Freak. Um, it's basically an eyebrow gel and I just brush it because my eyebrow hairs grow like horizontally. So yeah, I'll just brush my eyebrow hairs up, see like how they don't and they'll follow a nice shape. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so that's them both done. Sometimes I will try like the soap brow method, but when I've just fake tanned my face and stuff, it would like wash it all off, so it just wouldn't go very well. So yeah, I I'm not gonna do that here, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I basically then take my next micro brow pencil, and I'll do one eyebrow on camera and one off. Um, but yeah, I basically just follow the shape around and I do it the same on the ends, like at the top even, at the end of the brow, at the top. <laughs> I don't bring it in right from the centre when I do that because I try and do fake strokes but even then when I do fake strokes you can't really see it. So I went to a mirror to finish off that step just because it's hard to do in the phone camera but um and even though I have a mirror behind it's kind of hard to see but um yeah so I've bas I just do little like strokes to fill it in I don't just heavy block colour it on and then basically what happens is with this little nib of the pen here I don't know if you can see see how there's like a sharper end there because I've used that end to brush it, to draw on that part of my brow. I'll then take the sharper end and I'll just flick up through the front of it 
and then just neaten it up as I go. So I'm going to go finish my brows off camera. I'll be back and then you'll see the result of them. Okay, so that's them kind of filled in and stuff. Obviously, you've got the wee strokes at the top and all that jazz. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll take a kind of angled flat brush and then just my concealer. I have the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in sand. And what I'll do is I'll just take, instead of putting it on, I'll put the brush onto the little nib here and then I'll just neaten up Okay, so eyebrows done. And then I do sometimes do eyeshadow, I sometimes don't. For the sake of today's video, I'll do a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, I don't put a base on my eyes because I'm not looking for the colours to go like popping or whatever. I'm just kind of happy for them to do what they do. Okay, so for my eyes, I will take my P. Louise palette, just a very old one. I think the first one she came out with. Um, I'll use this one. And and I will dip into the shade Trippin, that one there. And what I'll do is I'll just put that all across the top there. Okay, and the next shade I'm going to go in with is sun kissed which is this really bright orange so to kind of that's kind of what tripping helps do like i kind of mix the two and it helps dull it down a bit because it's a very bright color um and i always just put a little bit on and tap it off and then i just put that in the kind of same place i put tripping all across the outer lid kind of wing it out a bit so you can always stop there to be fair um you don't need to add any more depends on how um what's the word how, how deep you want your eyeshadow to look i guess if you, like if you use the darker shades and stuff it makes it you know more blown out um just for the video again i'm gonna i'm gonna make it a little bit darker um so basically i'm gonna take the shade burnt and then i'm just going to pop that in more of the crease and i'm not going to drag it all the way into the middle i'm only going to put it to kind of all the way into the inside of my eyes sorry i'm just going to kind of put it into the middle and kind of smoke it out and then i'll go back in with a mix of sun kissed and trip in and just kind of blend that all out again Okay, so again, it depends on <laughs> it depends on how much depth how much depth you want your eyeshadow look to have. Um, you can always go in with a darker shade, for example, like Latte or Bestie, or like mix the two. You can even go in with one of the reds if you want it to become more ready. I personally think I'm going to leave the upper lid at that in terms of matte shadows. Um, I am, however, I am, however, going to take the shade Prin, I think, or I'll mix the two, Prin and Slave. I'll put on Prin just on its own just now, so it kind of looks like that is a really nice, like, goldy, kind of white gold colour. And basically all I'll do is I'll just kind of tap it on the lid. And I take that to like the middle part of my lid. I tap it on and then I kind of spread it out. So now that's done, I'll, the last thing I'll do is I'll just go back in again with my um, burnt and then sun kissed and trip in um, and I'll just kind of blend that out a little bit. Like so. And then just because I feel like this part, <laughs> my under eye, oh my god, I know makeup, like I can do makeup. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> um, so for my lower lash line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with burnt on the outside and put sun kissed on the inside. Just 
just like that and then last thing actual last thing i'm gonna do is just on the inner corner i'm gonna pop some slay which was the other shimmery color just a little so that's the eye look done i always end up going way more crazy than i mean to obviously this was natural but you know yeah just gets a bit fun doesn't it it's something to do in lockdown I'm waving a pen a pen a brush around again um oh yeah i used just a little angle brush this is the morphe g20 just to do that in our corner there okay so next up what i'll do is will i contour i'll definitely contour my nose because i feel like my nose is really big and i i don't like it so i contour to make it look slimmer okay so i take my next just powder contour palette um i think it's what was it called highlight and contour pro palette um this is very 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 well loved as you can tell um, and it's very dirty but um so yeah i'll take this and then i'll use between these two shades it depends on how dark my face is um and then i will just follow the lines here i basically just come in from my eyebrow up here and just drag it down in kind of a straight line so you can see that side compared to that side has a bit more of a shadow shape to it and then once i've done that what i'll do is i'll just kind of go around here to make my nose appear a bit shorter and then i'll kind of swirl out <laughs> the contour and then what i'll do is just across the tip up here i'll just draw a little draw i don't know if that's a word but i'll draw a little line across the top there to kind of make it a little bit of a circle so that's basically what i do for the dark part of the nose contour and then all i do is i take the this shade here i don't know what they don't have names um so the matte lightest shade and then all i do with that is i just take it on a little brush and i'll put it a tiny bit up here down the middle and then i'll take the shiny one and i'll put it just across a tiny little bit on the tip of my nose just to give that illusion of it's a little bit shorter and then maybe just to give my cheeks a little bit of shape i'll go in with a mix of those two shades again oh i've got this angled flat brush it's iconic london i got it in a set for christmas a few years ago my mum got it for me so i don't know its name or anything sorry but it is iconic london um <laughs> so yeah mix of those two shades and i basically find the bottom of my cheekbone like where it is and then i just follow it only to about halfway just like so and then for my forehead I basically because i have quite a long forehead what i do is i kind of bring it all the way across i saw this trick on i think it's sophie louise was doing like a makeup for her face like to suit her face shape video and there was someone who said to if you have a big forehead to just kind of put it across oh my god my hair the lack of it that i have is still managing to get in the way <laughs> so yeah that's the contour part done and um, added a little bit of shape back into my face um now my cheeks are naturally very like prone to going red so <laughs> even with fade tan on so because i don't have any foundation or concealer anything covering that area because they will naturally go red i tend not to put on blush um, you can obviously put on blush if you would like. I'm choosing not to just in this case because I know if I step outside and it's cold, my cheeks will flush red. But yeah, I'm going to skip that step myself. Um, however, I will not skip highlighter because I cannot help myself. So for highlighter, I have the Lottie London Shimmer Squad, which is a really good drugstore gif of the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Queen Bee which is this gold, goldy shade. Can you see that? Yeah, that's more gold and that's rose gold. And I'm gonna mix the good girl, which is the rose gold one. I think that would be too white for a kind of more natural look. 
unless you have really pale skin obviously but because I fake tanned I do not <laughs> And then as well, what I do with this one is I just go and dust it over, dust, that's a good word, dust it over my upper lip and all across the cupid's bow. But yeah, so basically that's the face done. All that's really left to do is mascara and lips. Um, I'll take mascara first. So I'll just curl my eyelashes. I'll do that off camera because that will look kind of weird. Okay, so eyelashes curled and then my mascara is the Maybelline Lash Sensational one. And I'll do that off camera as well. So yeah, I don't feel comfortable doing my mascara upside the camera just because, I don't know, it's my eyes. It's like poking black stuff into my eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, is, this one's kind of on its last leg. So my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow, my eyelashes kind of sometimes go a bit clumpy, but um, that's just because it's on his last legs, but it does make your eyelashes look a lot better. I've also actually been using this, the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and it's like a serum, boosting serum. And I use it every morning and every night. I do it from like base of your eyelash all the way to the tip. Um, and it's supposed to, stop. <laughs> it's supposed to um, make your eyelashes a bit longer or stuff. Okay, and lastly, we have lip so for lips I like obviously moisturize them first um and <laughs> you don't laugh at me I have a new one I just want to get the use out of this one first I go in with a lip liner <laughs> look at the size of that thing um well loved you can tell my favorite lip liner I've ever discovered ever so high praise for the next lip liner in sand um, but uh, yeah, I think it's it's number seven as well. Um, it's the suede matte lip crayon, I think, or something is what it's called, or matte lip pencil. Um, so yeah, basically I just line my lips and then I'll go in with a gloss, probably. I don't tend to put lipstick on on no makeup days, or no makeup days, this is not no makeup, on lockdown makeup days. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna use this as a little mirror for my lips just so I can get a close up. So to make my lips a bit bigger, I have a, like a, I feel like my top lip's a lot smaller than my bottom lip. I don't mind the size of my bottom lip, but my top looks quite small. So to overline it, what I do is only in the center, I overline at the cupid's bow part and then I follow the normal shape down. Oh, and also going with like a sharp, like I've just sharpened this, <laughs> a sharp lip pencil. And then just kind of fill it all the way in so perfect that is that done and then the last step is lip gloss so lip gloss i am going to take my fenty beauty gloss bomb is that what it's called and fenty glow sorry i had like a hair stuck to my hands i was just shaking it off um and then all i'll do with this this is honestly one of the best glosses ever 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 and i just stick it on like so and then last things last is setting spray i use my trusty urban decay all nighter to have it on all day honestly that's the most satisfying thing ever like i always just stop myself from just over spraying because it's so satisfying but yeah, that is the finished makeup look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> that is the finished makeup look. Um, I'll bring you in for a close up. So yeah, that's that done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am off to film some more now that I have my makeup done. I wasn't gonna film my makeup because I don't know. It makes me a bit nervous. Um doing the makeup video more than a fashion one obviously they all make me nervous but doing makeup over fashion is a bit more scary to me for some reason hey ho but um yeah so i hope you enjoyed it give me some love in the comments um or some feedback constructive preferably please um 
or just nice ones because that would be very much appreciated um, and if you could like and subscribe as well that would mean the world to me just let me know what kind of videos you want to see um, I know I, I've posted a couple weeks ago um, my posts are very sporadic um, I'm trying to set myself one day every week to film a couple videos um, so Wednesday shall be my filming day I am putting that into the world I am making myself accountable um, and then I don't know when I'll upload, but I'll try and get one or two videos a week done. If I want to film more, I'll obviously not stop myself from filming more, but um, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you like the makeup look, hope, hope you take some inspiration from it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!